Are you feeling pregnant? All the symptoms are there, but the pregnancy test is negative. How can this happen? This is especially frustrating if you are trying to grow your family and you are waiting for that positive pregnancy test. You're feeling pregnant. You're sure this is it, but that test is negative. Let's talk about it. Today, you will learn all about how this can happen and what you can do about it. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinologist helping people try to conceive and try to see that positive pregnancy test for almost 20 years. And I love educating. I'm so glad you found this channel. Be sure and subscribe so you get my weekly videos all about reproductive health. Two more ways to stay in touch. Sign up for my newsletter to get weekly content, weekly fertility news, and listen to my podcast, the Baby or Bus Fertility Podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts. We'll put links in the description. The time between trying and knowing if you're pregnant or not is excruciating if you have been trying for a while or you're just really ready to grow your family. This two-week wait, it's often what it's called in the fertility community, um, hashtag TWW, two-week wait. It's not always exactly two weeks, but it's that time between ovulation and trying and knowing if you're pregnant, or it's the time between doing an intrauterine insemination and then waiting for that pregnancy test, or an embryo transfer and waiting to see if it worked or not. And it is tough, a lot of waiting, a lot of wondering, a lot of questioning, a lot of symptoms, is that spotting implantation bleeding or is it the start of a period? Is that cramp or twinge? Is that my uterus accepting the embryo or is it the start of period cramps? You just, your mind can go in all different places. Um, I struggled to grow my family and had a lot of years of fertility and fertility treatments. And I remember feeling this way. And I remember several cycles of being convinced that I was pregnant. The symptoms were different. I just knew that these symptoms were pregnancy symptoms, kept doing pregnancy tests and they were negative. And I was just beyond frustrated. You just want it so badly. And when it is not happening, it is really, really heartbreaking. Today, we're going to go over three main reasons that you could be feeling pregnant, but the pregnancy test is negative. And be sure and stick around to the end where I'll go over my top tips on how to get an accurate pregnancy test result. Now, of these three reasons that you can feel pregnant, but the pregnancy test is negative, the first two, you're actually pregnant, but the pregnancy test is wrong. So number one reason that you could be feeling pregnant and get a negative pregnancy test is you're testing too early. It actually takes time for the egg and sperm to meet, fertilize, turn into an embryo that travels down the fallopian tube, implants into the uterine lining, and then that embryo or that pregnancy starts making beta HCG, which is the pregnancy hormone. And it takes a while for this whole process to happen. And it takes a while for that pregnancy hormone level to build up to a high enough level to make the home urine pregnancy test positive or even the blood tests in the lab positive. And so there's a window where it's after ovulation or it's after trying um, before the pregnancy test will actually be positive. So if you test too early, you really actually could still be pregnant. Just wait a few days and test again. The second reason that you could really be pregnant, but the pregnancy test is negative, is if you're testing at the right time and you're having these pregnancy symptoms, but the pregnancy test is negative, it could be an inaccurate test result. Especially the at-home urine pregnancy test, sometimes they haven't been stored correctly. Sometimes the assay is a little bit wrong. It, not every test is perfect. And so if you really are having these symptoms, it's the right time to test and the first test that you try is negative, just take another test. And if, if it's positive, maybe take another one because you wanna be 100% sure. Another way to confirm an at-home urine pregnancy test result is to call your doctor and ask for a blood test because the blood test is very, very accurate and that can really help if there's any confusion. So these first two reasons that you could feel pregnant and have a negative pregnancy test is that either number one, you are testing too early, you really are pregnant, you just gotta wait a few more days to allow the hormone to build up high enough in order to detect this 
beta HCG level. And number two, it's an inaccurate test and you just got to try again. Now, the third reason you could be feeling pregnant and absolutely convinced that you're pregnant, but have a negative pregnancy test is frustrating because this reason you're not actually pregnant, but you're just feeling that way. So unfortunately you aren't testing too early. The pregnancy test is accurate. You are not pregnant, but you're just feeling that way. So how can this happen? The issue is that the hormone that is dominant around the time of getting a period in the luteal phase is also the dominant hormone of pregnancy. And this hormone can make you feel a lot of symptoms. Progesterone. Progesterone is the dominant hormone. It elevates after ovulation, gets higher and higher. It helps the uterine lining support and be ready for the embryo to implant. And progesterone can make you feel pregnant. It can make you have breast tenderness. It can help with water weight and fluid shifts. It can affect moodiness. Uh, it can make you tired and fatigued. Um, progesterone can really truly make you feel pregnant. And sometimes you're going to have more symptoms from this progesterone, especially maybe if you ovulate two eggs. If you've got two follicles that are maturing eggs and you release two eggs in a cycle, whether it's from taking fertility medication or just naturally you ovulate two eggs. If your body's making more progesterone that cycle, because it actually ovulated more than one egg, you could feel these progesterone related symptoms a lot stronger. And when you're really trying to grow your family and you really want that pregnancy test to be positive, Sometimes we can just really feel a lot of these symptoms in a lot of different ways. Another thing is if you are in fertility treatments, oftentimes people will be taking progesterone to support a potential pregnancy. So people will take progesterone in frozen embryo transfer cycles or even in IUI cycles sometimes. There should be indications for taking it. You should definitely talk to your doctor about pros and cons of taking progesterone when you're trying to conceive but if you are taking progesterone, that can delay the onset of your period and that exogenous progesterone that you're getting from the outside, it does a great job of supporting a pregnancy, but it can give you these side effects and make you feel even more pregnant. You can have more intense breast tenderness, moodiness, fluid shifts, fatigue, and it's from that progesterone that you're taking. And it's beyond frustrating because it actually will support the lining. So it won't make it so that you won't ever get a period. But if you typically get your period on cycle day 28 and you're taking progesterone, it could come actually cycle day 32 or 34 and cue multiple negative pregnancy tests later. You're like, I this is late for me. I'm late. I'm trying to conceive. I feel pregnant and the pregnancy test is negative. What is going on? It is side effects from the progesterone, whether it's naturally occurring at a higher level or it's from progesterone that you're taking to support your fertility journey. It's beyond frustrating because you're really not pregnant. It's just these feelings and this side effects or effects of progesterone. So I know it can be so heartbreaking to realize that you're really not pregnant, but I want you to understand that there's many different reasons that you could feel pregnant and have all of these symptoms, but the pregnancy test is negative. Either you really are pregnant and we got to test at the right time, or we got to take another test because the first one was inaccurate, or unfortunately you could not be pregnant and just be feeling this way because a lot of the symptoms that are related to early pregnancy feel a lot like the symptoms that come from progesterone, which is just naturally there in any second half of the menstrual cycle. Now, I'm glad you stuck around to the end to get my top tips on how to get an accurate pregnancy test result. I have a couple of videos here all about when to take a pregnancy test. It can actually be as positive as early as six or seven days post ovulation, even though the typical recommendation is to wait until 14 days post ovulation. And if you haven't gotten a period yet, take that pregnancy test. And if it's positive, you're pregnant. And if it's not, you're not. The earlier you take the test, the less accurate. I know a lot of people do it. We're curious, we're anxious, we want to know. But the later you take it or the closer you take it, 
when you should be expecting a period, that's going to give you a more accurate pregnancy test result. Um, be sure and check out my other videos here to help you have accurate pregnancy test results. I know how important this is on your family building journey. Uh, like this video if you learned something. Comment with questions that you have. Be sure and subscribe to this channel so you get my weekly videos all about reproductive health. And until next week, wishing you love, luck, and pineapples. Mm -hmm.